Okay, I'm going to describe the drainage plane on the exterior of the house. Above grade, we're using the foil face of the polyiso and our vapor shield product. Below grade, we're using a combination of below these Finex panels, there's this product, this is Delta Drain. Um, has a geotextile fabric on it. This goes below grade dirt, goes up to this. Uh, uh, this can't be infiltrated by dirt or soil. It gets into this area and water can weep down along the foundation. Now, to get us out and over that, we've used this uh, Z-Metal, uh, Z 18 gauge flashing. Above that, we're using a product that is uh, Coravent. And that goes, you can see these little black pieces right here. That's this product, it can be cut to length. And what it has is it's breathable. On the other side, it has an insect screen. So our siding comes down to about right there. And it's held off, it's on the face of these, these furring strips. And so air can move out and through, through this area. And then our entire uh, siding, all the siding is back vented and then there's air movement can move out through the top. So it's a pretty big uh, rain screen. We have an inch and a half of space right here. Um, these, this product is, um, a, uh, is a fiber cement panel. It's really, really dense and we just hang it in there. And then when we backfill, we'll backfill to about right there. Um, that's, that's all the components in this exterior drainage plane. Uh, another interesting aspect on the building envelope is we're using uh, two different materials. We're using a uh, vertically oriented cedar siding, which goes here, and here we're using a uh, exterior grade plaster. It's pure lime plaster that will be, uh, after two layers of 60-minute uh, paper, uh, the plaster comes out and returns back. Our vertical siding, this is the interface between the plaster and the wood siding. Uh, I want to show this as an example of how we did the rain screen. Um, uh, the whole thing is back vented. So this, this is a little thicker. It's purely an architectural detail. Uh, returns back in, there'll be a little shadow line. But um, uh, that's, how these, that's how these parts go together. You can pan the whole way up and kind of see what we've done. Big long sight lines on this project. So things are lining at the bottom of the building and all the way up the top with uh, uh, wood pieces in between it. This is what it looks like before we install the insect screen. Um, this is the Z-Metal, our uh, above grade drainage plane. This is our below grade uh, drain mat, foundation drain mat. What we'll do when we get to this point is we'll take our core vent insect screen and it gets cut and fit between each siding strut and then it gets pinched with our last piece of uh, furring strip that gets applied on just like that and then nailed on and that pinches this guy into place and creates uh, a drainage plane where insects that kind of thing can't termites cannot get up through uh, and then we're going to show you one more example uh, another example of our above grade to below grade right here um, we actually have concrete here which comes up to about here as the siding runs down it just clears our z metal down to here we have about an inch gap airspace and then we have uh, a poured slab that's right here. But you can kind of clearly see how all the components go together. Uh, this Z-Metal detail worked out really well. It kind of bridges our, uh, our, uh, drain, our, our, drain, our drain mat and then our fiber cement panels. That's that, that determines this thickness right here. Everything's continuous. Anything comes down this drainage plane, it goes out and onto the face of the building. So our next steps on Karuna, we're uh, just about ready to go to sheetrock and we're going to start throwing up some of our uh, pre-finished cedar siding. Uh, our next video also will include, we're about to install our exterior Venetian shades, uh, motorized shades, and uh, some other uh, cladding details. Thanks.